please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may now be seated. I'm just painting my name on my parking spot with green as the background and some other like patterns. And I'm painting eggs. <laughs> um, I'm doing the Mean Girls design, which says "Get in, loser." But instead of shopping, I'm doing "We're Seniors." Um, mine's just a bunch of squares and stuff with a bunch of colors. I tried to make it look as childish as, po as possible. Mine's my name, but the L is the Lexus logo and the A is the Audi logo, and then the D is the D. My name. <laughs> Uh, I'm painting flowers. Uh, yeah. uh, we did graffiti art. Um, yeah. Yeah, we were all like, really inspired by yeah. some stuff we saw on Pinterest. I'm painting flowers and then my name and then one I'm painting my name and then butterflies <laughs> around it and flowers. So same, so, same thing. Good morning, Wildcats. I can't believe we're really back in the studio getting to do a show today. I know, Emily. It's been so long since everyone has been on campus and we're almost back to normal. I'm so excited to see everyone and meet my teachers. Me too. Both teachers and the staff here at West Ranch want to give you students a warm welcome and get everyone excited for the new school year. In fact, later on in today's show, two of our West Ranch staff members will be here to give welcome messages to begin the 2021 to 2020 school, school year. I'm Caitlin Claxton. And I'm Emily Claxton. Today is Tuesday, August 10th, and you're watching West Ranch TV. Welcome back to in-person learning. A few reminders. Students must wear their ID cards at all times while on campus. Students were given lanyards at registration that will make this easier. Also, Crisis Go must be filled out prior to school every morning. ID cards can be scanned in place of Crisis Go barcodes, so make sure they are filled out and ready at the check-in gate. It's been over a year since we've had in-person learning, and our principal, Mr. Crawford, is joining Avery in the studio to give us more information on what we can expect this year. Thank you, Emily, and thank you, Mr. Crawford, for taking the time to be here today to welcome West Strand students back to school. After over a year of not being on campus, a lot of things have changed. Our past school year has been anything but conventional, so what are you looking forward to now that we are finally in person again? Well, Avery, really, just to have students here on campus is a huge part of it. It just adds to the excitement and the overall atmosphere on campus is so electric, and I know, speaking from all the staff, we're just excited to have students back here and we're looking for a great 21-22 school year. Great. And just to clarify for those who may be unsure, what are the rules with masks as of now? All right, so whenever you're on campus in an indoor facility, whether it's a classroom, the library, a hallway, uh, the locker room, you must be wearing a mask over your nose and mouth. Uh, and then when you're outdoors uh, on campus, uh, it's a personal choice. Uh, so I know for myself, if I'm around a lot of people, especially with the numbers right now, I'm going to wear my mask just to keep myself safe, but it's a personal choice. Then if you're at events, like we might have, you know, football game in a couple weeks, uh, at events that are outdoors, it's the same rules apply. So you, outdoors, it's a personal choice. Indoors, like at a rally, you must have it on. Are there any new guidelines or changes that students should be aware of? Well, if you were on campus back in the spring, and I only know a few of you were, but we, we really had to abide by the social distancing guidelines, those guidelines aren't necessarily required anymore, but we always recommend them. So I, I know like try to space out and, and keep yourself and not in huge groups as much as you can. Uh, the other thing is, is just again, uh, with the mask, making sure that you wear them. And, uh, but the great thing is we're gonna be able to have events. We're gonna be able to do things that we haven't done in over a year and a half. So we're really excited. Thank you for your time, Mr. Crawford. I know we are all looking forward to this school year and being back on campus. That's all for me. Let's take it back to the hosts. Thank you, Mr. Crawford, for coming down to talk to our students. I know I'm so excited to be back in person and can't wait to see how the school year plays out. Fall sports are already underway, including cross country, girls golf, girls volleyball, girls tennis, and football. If you're interested in any of these sports, check the Daily Bulletin for more information about tryouts. Another great way to get involved is attending activities ASB puts on throughout the school year. We were able to catch up with our ASB director, Ms. Christie, with more information. 
Hey guys, Mrs. Prisky here, your ASB director. So excited that you are all back on campus. Cannot wait to interact with all of you, have some fun activities planned. ASB has been working so hard. We have our senior meeting coming up this Friday during third period, the second half of third period. All of our seniors this year, class of 2022, you guys are gonna meeting in the outdoor amphitheater. There'll be more information for that, but we are super excited about that. We have our senior sunrise coming up next week. We also have our first rally and our home football game all coming up on August 20th. That's just next week. We're very excited. We're gonna have our first spirit week and lots of fun things going on around campus here. We have our new ASB account tech, Tim Cotty. Everybody knows Tim, come in, say hi. We would love to see all of you in the ASB office. Um, just stop in if you have any questions or need anything, please feel free to come by, but we are absolutely here to make this school year as best as we can, and we have so many fun activities planned and like I said starting off with our first rally in spirit week next week so have a great first day cats have a great first week and we'll see you at all the activities bye guys thank you Miss Prisky I'm so excited to see the activities ASB is planning for seniors and the rest of the school these first few weeks along with all these activities new classes can be stressful luckily two of our Western TV members are here with some back to school tips hey everyone it's Jake and Christian here to provide you with the utmost best tips as always. School officially starts today and we've compiled a list to start off your year on the right foot. Whether this is the first time you've ever actually been or you're a returning student, we're here for you all. Tip one, we realized it's actually really helpful to know where your classes are and which ones you're supposed to attend for the day. For this reason, there's a map of the school you can print out on the website and it can come in quite handy to orientate yourself. Maybe you just realized you're sitting in the wrong room and, and in that case, you should probably get to the class you're just marked absent in. Godspeed. Tip two, especially for those who are just starting high school, build good study habits while you can. As a serial procrastinator, this is the single best advice I can pass down because this will help you for the rest of your school career. Start strong and don't end up like me. Tip three, if you're buying lunch and you don't want to starve, don't worry, just sprint at breakneck speeds to the lunch line. It's a bloodbath. Tip four, now that school is in person, waking up at 825 just in time to attend classes is probably not viable anymore. Get into a routine to wake up early on weekdays for breakfast and enough time to get to school. Tip five, if you use a $5 bill or more in one of the vending machines, the change it gives out usually includes a dollar coin. Why is this included? Dollar coins are cool. We hope these tips have given you a peaceful state of mind on your first day. Let's take it back to the anchors. Thank you for those tips. I know I will be using them to help me get into the swing of things. Me too, Emily. I already feel better about this week. Well, that's all for today's show. We won't have a show on Wednesday, but stay tuned for Thursday's show where we will hear from our school presidents. I'm Caitlin Saxon. And I'm Emily Kaufman. Have a great first day, cats. Mm -hmm.